really, um, you know, I'm going to sit down. Um, I literally came back. So, first day I got here, I met all you guys, everything seemed fine. And then obviously Lucas said that thing to you, which you told me, right? And then we had that conversation. He's now saying you're a total liar. He never said anything to you. That conversation didn't take place. I'm making it all up. I said, well, no, it did take place. Both myself and Seb had that conversation that you thought I was extremely rude to you when I was on the phone to the hospital. I said, the next day I saw you, not that I have to, but I went out of my way to meet you in the kitchen. I apologized to you about four times explaining what was happening with the hospital. He said, I don't care about your hospital. I said, well, I don't really know what you want from me. I don't know you from anywhere. So he actually, what actually happened tonight was I actually came in. No one spoke to me. Now, all day today, anytime I've walked in a room, everyone's left and gone in another room. It's very, very rude. I literally came in. I literally went and lied down. I'm very tired to prepare for my hospital tomorrow. He came in and is flicking the light switch on and off. Are you awake? Are you awake? Are you awake? I'm like, sorry, what's going on? I said, what are you doing? He's like, when are you leaving? Can you get out now? I'm like, what? I said, he's like, why are you still here? I'm like, Look, hold, Lucas, I'm, I'm sleeping. What are you talking about? Well, we all agreed we want you to get you kicked out now. I'm like, what? So he's like, get up. I'm like, Lucas, who are you talking to? I don't know you. So I get up. I said, what's the problem? And he's like, well, we've all discussed. You're very rude. You're a liar. You're a cheater. I'm like, Lucas, I don't, who are you? I said, I apologize to you about something I didn't even need to apologize about. I said, you come into my room, you're flicking the light switch on and off. I said, my understanding was it was okay I go to Cone, come back, and I leave on Tuesday. That's actually put another couch surfer out in another city. He's like, I don't care about you as a couch surfer. I'm just like, so you can say anything to me and I'm not allowed to say anything. He's like, um, you know, we cleaned the house today and you didn't clean anything. I said, that's totally not true. I said, I cleaned the dishes before anyone got up, before Ricardo actually even started cleaning the kitchen. I said, I actually took ownership of cleaning my room. I said, I don't come to a couch surfers to clean, but I did it anyway because it was made mandatory to me that on couch surfing spirit, you should at least bring something. And I said, um... You know, when I had the conversation with um, Seb, he said that you had a major problem with me. He said, Seb, uh, Seb's lying. I never told him anything. And I'm just like, what is going on? He's like, I want you out of my house. And, we, uh, and like, just the, the way he was speaking to me was not even the words he was saying, but the way he was doing it. I'm sorry, is it your home? Of course it is. But you can't do that. He was being extremely aggressive in my face, that came into my room, flicking the light switch on and on until I actually got up and he's like, get out. Okay. I hadn't even spoke to the guy. Okay. I it's too much. Upset. I understand that you're upset. And actually we agreed on talking to you about maybe that you could leave tomorrow in the morning when you go to Cologne anyways. And you can get all your stuff and just never come back. Because we are all kind of, we all agreed on that you would have to leave. Because but you know what, if that's fine, that, that's fine, I, to be honest with you, it's been extremely rude from the start. For me, for, and I'll be honest with you, I will leave tomorrow, I couldn't even care less. From the moment I got here, everything is fine. And then, it's kind of like, I do understand a little bit of German, and I actually walked to the bathroom, and you guys are all talking about my situation. I know what you said about me, I literally come into the kitchen to try and be nice. You all got out and went into the furthest part of the room. Even if you guys are all doing that... You cannot come into someone's room aggressively, okay. shouting, switching the light on and off. You can't do that in anyone's house. That's a complete aggression. Okay, but that's Lucas. That has been Lucas' decision. Yeah, but what and I'm saying no, is, what was Lucas' decision? No, nobody told He was extremely him aggressive. I, I wasn't like, even talking to anyone. Well, well, the, well, the, well, the problem is, I'll be honest with you, if you were going to make that decision, come to me like an adult. And say, look, we made a decision. I wanted to do that. Well, you. that did not happen. I it know. got extremely aggressive. Lucas is impulsive at times, and sometimes. Yeah, he but he put me. He put me in a really bad situation to the point I thought, is this guy going to come at me? He you, you, 
Yes, but I don't know that. From the moment I got here, I spoke to everyone. You said I was on social, not knowing that I was up to one o'clock in the morning. You were the one that told me another flatmate left because of Lucas's behavior. I didn't know that. All I did was, all I did was, was come through that door and go and lie down. And within about ten minutes, he was all over me. Regardless of any living environment, you cannot do that. It's completely inappropriate. He came right in my room, flipped it, went, get up. Whether it's couch surfing or whether you're a roommate, Sebastian, you can't do that. He was in my face aggressive. I'm basically saying, you're lying, I'm lying, everybody's lying apart from Lucas. And get up. If you'd approached me in a logical way like this, I might not have had such a big part, but I mean, that was absolutely disgusting what he just did. Okay. R Sorry? I, I'm in this room and it was not loud. You have uh, still uh, talked to you. There's no aggressive problem. No, but you were in the room when yes. he came over. I hear when Lucas are angry. That wasn't angry. <laughs> okay, well, I'm here. I just heard your story. If, if it's your part of it, do you think it's appropriate if someone comes in, someone's sleeping, and you flip the light on and say, get out? You're, you're always putting everything like it wasn't your fault. And it wasn't I didn't say thing. anything to anybody. I was sleeping. Okay, then the way you tell it is rude. Of course it is, but um, you can't change it now. No, I can't. Yeah, and I, I, to be honest, I'm quite happy to leave anyway. Can you give you an example? Remember you told me one of your roommates left because of his behavior? I mentioned that in the conversation. Well, that was... I couldn't really care less at this point. I'm not a member of this house. But what I'm saying is that's what you told me. All I'm saying is because he was bombarding me so much, I mentioned that comment. And he's like, well, Seb is lying. Dude, I've only been here two days. I wanted to go to my cone thing. I don't want to get involved in anything here. You said I must apologize to him. You know what he said? The reason I was so rude was when I came in this apartment and I said hello to everybody, I should have made it mandatory to hang up the phone call. Remember when we talked about that and said you can't hang you up the phone call? About the fact that I'm right, but well, I'm telling That's you again. No, All I'm, I'm saying is, he told me I should have gone to his room, knocked on his door, gone into his room, and introduced myself. And that would be appropriate. Would have been appropriate from you. But I don't even know which room he was in. Then ask for it, man. You have so many, so many little problems that make it a huge problem to have you. It really is. You're constantly doing stuff that is giving us a weird feeling. And your, your behavior is totally not okay in a common sense. You, you should overthink that, really. How you're using couch surfing, how you're behaving on couch surfing. You should do RBV. You give them 10 euros a day and you don't have anything to do with them. You'll be fine. You can sleep, I read your shower, profile. you can do whatever you I read you your want. profile. We already discussed this. The last, and I don't want to go this too much because can I Can I talk for a minute? Sure. Do you know what I did because of you? I put something on my profile which says that you cannot do what all the things you did. Just because of like you, what? I changed my profile. I said we're not a free hotel where you can stay and use all facilities. I said you, you should know the basic rules of politeness and everything. If, if you... There's so, so many things. Like, if you ask me if you could use the washing machine, that, I that, did that ask doesn't. You. I know, and it's okay, you can use it. But that doesn't mean you can use it for two days on a row. But what I said to him was, my washing was completely dry. I, I don't even care. Second. I couldn't care less. That's what you say all the time. I just don't care. I don't talk like that. You said that five times already. In, in the last ten minutes. I asked him. You said, when I, I, do, I don't care. I couldn't care less. I don't want this to escalate. I really don't. All I'm saying is, and I asked you, I said, I gotta put my washing back in because when you guys put the soil in the plant, my clothes got all dirty again. I actually specifically asked him, I said, is it okay? And you said, yes, you did, right? I said, you can wash your clothes, but I don't, I'm working at this time. I don't hear it, what you really want. I heard your, um, your clothes are dirty. And no, but that's yes, the place you can wash you. That's That's the you can use our toilet, you can do whatever you like, and you can have a shower, you can do all those things, but you cannot do them in the way you're, you're oh, doing. Which is what? Just, I don't know, just uh, take everything from it. Take, what am I taking? Please tell me. We're offering you something what? What? in generosity, and you're just taking it and getting everything out of it. Like, you're not like washing your stuff. Like, 
For the whole day, everything. No, but I just told you I what happened. I see what's on the rack. Okay, I yes. see that you have everything. You said to me, I have some clothes and can I wash them and blah blah. And then you used the washing machine for one and a half days. I just said the washing was complete. What happened was I was about to put it in my suitcase. Okay. You guys did the listen, stuff with the plant and it got all dirty. I'm happy to leave. Please. The reason I wanted to listen talk to, to me you was... I'm, I'm saying one thing to you. And that's going to be the last thing I say to you. It is that you have to in, you have to adapt to certain rules and things if you want to keep using couchsurfing because you are destroying the community I'm destroying in the way the how you behave. You are you serving the community? The spirit. You're not in any case what is being expected from travelers, from people on couchsurfing. You have problems, personal problems with Whomever, I don't care, and you are putting this that conversation people. stops right now because all That's you saw was accused. Very cool. you, came, you came into my room, made massive personal accusations after what Lucas did. I'm okay. telling you, your roommate came in at an aggressive point to the point I, I couldn't. Care. Okay, I don't care what Lucas did to you. I'm happy 